Hello, sixth graders. We haven't had an IXL lesson for a while. So we have one for today. And the hope that this, uh, the IXLs this week will be a form of review for you. So we are focusing this week on synonyms and antonyms. So to do this, sixth graders, oops, today I'm going to just write a T-chart. Synonyms and antonyms. So synonyms, S-Y-N-O-N-Y-M. Synonym and antonyms, A-N-T-O-N-Y-M. Alrighty, the definition of a synonym are words with the same meaning or almost the same meaning. Words with the same meaning or almost the same meaning. So here's some examples. Let's start with the word distant. If something is off in the distance, well, distance or distance, something is distance from distant from where we are located. The synonym of that is far. Something that is far away. Something that is a long distance from where we are at. Distant and far are synonyms. Another example of two synonyms would be announce. And declare, declare, announce, and declare. And one more example would be incorrect. And the synonym of incorrect is wrong. Synonyms are words with the same meaning or almost the same meaning. So basically, if you're um, using synonyms, you can replace synonyms with the synonym of each word in a sentence. So for example, I could say, you got this question incorrect on the test. Or I could say, you got this question wrong on the test. They both have the same meaning and the sentence doesn't change. So those are all examples of synonyms. Now, the term antonyms, as I'm sure you know, are words with opposite meaning. Words with the opposite meaning. Words with the opposite meaning. So, this, obviously, you cannot replace certain words in a sentence if they're antonyms because that would completely change the meaning of a sentence. So, some examples of antonyms would be destroy. Destroy. And the opposite of destroy would be repair. Repair. The opposite of destroy is repair. The opposite of real is imaginary. And one last example, we'll do the opposite of new is old. So antonyms are words with opposite meaning, sixth graders, and synonyms are words that have the same meaning or almost the same meaning. So this week's IXLs are all about synonyms and antonyms, words that mean the same or almost the same or words that are opposite. 
So after you write these notes down, please take a picture and upload them to Canvas for today, which is Monday, November 9th, which is what you're doing in class today. And then you may start working on the IXLs and the IXLs that we are working on this week are, oops, I'll zoom out here a little bit, Q.1, Q.2, those two are about synonyms, and then Q.3 and Q.4 are about antonyms. These are all six grade two. My advice, sixth graders, is that you start working on this today. You should start working on this today because you have this whole hour to work on this. Start working on these today and don't wait until the last day, which would be Friday, to get them done. Reach out if you have any questions and good luck. See you all later.